I feel like we're twins because we're kind of in the same like you know. It's identical. I called you up and we got you know crazy. But let's talk. Let's talk Horton. Uh, they, I, when you were working with the directors, I know that they kind of changed the way Horton even looked. Uh, and stuff because of the, your voice and stuff like that. Sure. Power. What, what is that like to? to <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is that you know these cartoons have to have a little humanity to them. So that's why they bring people like us in. They want expression and they want creativity and spontaneity and and uh, want us to come up with ideas. Uh, so you know, I mean, they had a, a little video camera trained on my face the whole time so that they could capture the expressiveness and uh, and I got you know very physical with it you know I mean some days I went home sore and went like what am I doing an action movie what is this but you really have to you have to commit to it and uh, Steve Martino was sitting there the whole time with a, a pad of paper drawing these wonderful renditions of Horton doing exactly what I'm doing at that moment and he'd turn and look at me and say you know this is what Horton uh, what Horton looks like doing that thing but what was really surprising was that, <coughs> you know we know you so much your voices and you, you, you've had this wide, wide range of like, stuff that people can you know, quote you back on. But yet, your horn is actually kind of toned down. It's very subtle, which I was uh -huh. really happy about. So, so Well, I asked them at the beginning of the project, I asked them, do they want a, a wild characterization you know, to, with a crazy voice and everything? And they said, no, we want, we want it to be you. And we want it to really have a lot of humanity in it. And we want to be able to really feel for this character at the same time. As, we, it has to have energy too, and he has to have a playfulness to him. You know, that's the one thing I, I really wanted to bring to it, was not only the sweetness of the character, but but th this kind of this childlike, you know, quality of being able to play, you know, and being able to create a world in his head that that was wonderful and uh, this innocence. You know, he's this big lumbering guy, but he doesn't feel like he's big. He's he's just on the even keel with everybody. No judgment, even his enemies. He loves, you know. The 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 creators, I mean, have done a really wonderful job of uh, imaging this world that you know was on ten pages or whatever of a book, and and to be a part of something that you know is going to be part of history. Now, I mean, is that kind of cool? Are, are your kids? Are you cool in the in the kids' book now, or is, are your are your children like? Are you cool, dad? Or yeah, I love it. I mean, I mean, the the fact is that you know. I mean, Evan, Jenny's boy, now is five years old, and I've been reading The Grinch to him forever, you know? So he's got the actual Grinch reading The Grinch to him. But, uh, <laughs> but cool. we just moved on to Horton a little while back, and, and he's addicted to it. I mean, it didn't take three minutes, and he was like, what's happening to Horton, and how many? And he's asking questions about clovers and stuff like that. Are there, are there specks and worlds on every clover? And, you know... It's 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 pretty awesome. It really captures them. You the know? imagination of children, and then being being able as adults to kind of create this kind of stuff it must be really amazing for you. Yeah. Uh, what do you, what kind of lessons do you learn from kids these days? Because you know, obviously they they're so unfiltered, and, and you know, what what kind of stuff have you did that translate to your 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 you know personification of uh, Horton? Well, yeah. when you watch a kid, you watch pure discovery. You know. And that's what we lose touch with. We get so kind of jaded and we know everything and we've seen everything and, you know, what we see we don't like and all that stuff. Uh, we start to judge things and they don't judge. They just look and they go, what's that? You know, and there's this kind of moment of magic that happens because they're not judging. They're just going, I want to touch that thing. I want to play with it. I want to stick it in my mouth, whatever it is. There's watching a kid, you get to see that moment of discovering the universe you know and and that that's you know Horton in a nutshell is new you know if I s said anything about him it would be that he's new in every moment you know he's new everything is new well what's that thing I'm gonna have some fun with that now you know and oh look over here this is a wonderful little universe here and when he hears that uh, the voice on the spec it's just new friends you know it's the joy. I remember when you were a little kid and you went out one day on your bike or something and you ran into a couple of new friends and it was like, I have new friends, man. It was like, it was the greatest thing in the world to suddenly discover a new friend, you know? And, and through this project, I get to remember and feel those things again, you know? Those feelings. It's, it's great. The same for us. Thank you very much. Thanks. It's really cool talking to you. Cool. Thanks a lot.